Okay, today I'm going to talk about the vector and raster design and the business to the make the, you need to know to make a prototype in in Affinity Designer. Okay, so what is vector and raster and what are these? Uh, there are two types of design types in graphic designs and these are the vector. The first one is vector, like a type of here, and the second one is raster. So, what is the difference between the vector and the raster? Okay, the main difference is you, the raster is a pixel style. And if you take, okay, I'm going to take a photo from here. And if you zoom too much in these photos, you will see the pixel layer. This is a pixel layer. Uh, and pixel layer, and you will see many many pixel layer here. Sorry, you will see many many pixel layer here. So th that means that if you bit enough, if you bit too much, these photos, your resolution will be less, and you will see the pixel area. That is not a good sign in logo because in logo, your logo may be used in the pens, uh, or and it may be in in Facebook profile, but also your profile maybe uh, your logo may be used in the bed poster uh, for advertising, uh, offline advertising, and in that case your logo may be bigger. And if your if your logo bigger, you don't want to reduce the resolutions of your logo, right? So you don't. That is not a good case to use a raster in logo design, and also in this prototyping. I prefer vector for prototyping because it can be it can be large, it can be small, but the resolution will be still remain in vector. But there is the downside of the vector design. Okay, so here is the affinity affinity website and the here's the photos with the vector only. You can see the design is so clear and clean, but if you check that out with vector and raster section you will see much detail much shading and it look more realistic and it look more details in raster plus vector but if you look back in vector your design is simple and less detail so that is different between uh, vector and raster in raster if you make a game design you definitely should go with raster you can go with vector only which is some Call low polygram in 3D in 3D words, but you should go with raster for much more detail and much more attraction, like this one. So much shading and you see it. The different. Okay, so that is the difference between the vector and the raster. And I'm going to use the vector mainly here for for web design prototyping. Okay, so the the best way of Affinity Designer is because it can use both. Vector and raster in Affinity in Adobe, especially in Adobe Illustration, you can only use vector design. There's no there's no raster in um, in Adobe Illustration. If you want to make a raster design, you should go to the Photoshop. So they are two software to make a design. You can make one photos with one software. Okay, for game design, like I show you before, like I show you in Affinity Designer, you you are based with vector okay that's cool and but if you want to go raster you have to go to the photoshop that is not a good case and the worst part is uh, adobe it is going with subscription plan a subscription plan is around twenty dollars but if another designer it only cost fifty dollars and there's no subscription one time purchase fifty dollar done and you can get many updates and many upcoming updates so that's a good deal for you, because um, in Adobe, uh, your two months of Adobe is equal to the lifetime support of the Affinity Designer, and that's why I choose Affinity Designer over Adobe. Don't get me wrong, Adobe is a good tool, but I love Affinity Designer better. Okay, there's two pattern in Affinity Designer, so like, like I said before, in illustration, there's only used uh, there's only factor, and if you want to use raster, you have to go to the Photoshop. But if in Affinity Designer you have to uh, you have to persona. This is the factor persona. This is the raster persona. So the the tools here in the sidebar may be different.
between the raster, uh, the raster. This is the raster and the vector. So the vector two is like more simple, uh, more simple. I mean more business symmetry tools, but in raster it's more like a brush tools, and uh, this is a uh, hand tools, much tuned, uh, something like that. To make a web design prototyping, I'll go with vector, and I will explain more detail about pixel persona or raster persona in the future. Okay, so you need to know about shapes, and I'll tell you about the shortcut. Okay, in prototyping, there are only most mostly you need to know about tools. That is, okay, if you click M in Affinity Designer, you have chosen the rectangle tools. The rectangle shortcut is M, you can see here. And if you click another M, that will be square. Another M, the rectangle with corner and back to here okay you can you may see the difference here if i click m again square uh, and cycle uh, rack, uh, uh, the square with corner and the total perfect square okay the reason i am telling you is because in prototyping the first one is you will need skeleton so to make a skeleton you will draw a square here like this and uh, this is this may be a navigation bar and sorry and this may be uh, this one as a footer and something like that and uh, this is the hero section uh, okay this is the this may be a contact form and voila it's done uh, but, but, but actually it is not done it's just a square and you won't know and you and other other designers won't even know what are these even if you tell is this is a, a skeleton designs of the prototyping of your website and etc there, there's more need to instruction okay for that instruction you need to know you need to type what okay for this case this is the navigation bar so you if you type t the shortcut is t you will see the arrow is changed into a text style okay and if you click here and draw like that and you can type nothing. This is the navigation bar. You can change it. The typography here, uh, area, uh, aerial, and something like that. I love Havitica. And you can change the width. Uh, this is the regular one, bold one, contest black, and etc. Okay, this is the navigation bar. So, and this is the footer. And you want to get the same side as here, uh, you, but if you you can use T and draw like that and footer, it's okay, but it is not the same. It might it might be the same font size here as here. Okay, in this case, in my case, it is similar. It it, it is the same, but it might it might not be the same. So the best way is duplicate it. So how do we duplicate the text? Or any other things in Affinity Designer, the shortcut is okay. You select this one, it has been chosen, it is selected, and just press command and drag it and drop and release the command. In that way, you can duplicate it. That is duplication. So you can also make Ctrl C and Command V. That is duplication yes correct but the best part of the, the duplication is that one kind of duplication is okay I will select this one again and press the command uh, in my case I'm using Mac so I'm command uh, I think in Windows there will maybe control uh, you should try and control and uh, okay I'm not present command and drag it and drop here I want more like this one. If I click Command J, there will be another duplication just like the sides. This line height, the, I mean, this, you know, this height duplication from here and here are the same. Okay, if I click again, Command J, that will be gone because I have selected the other things. So, what is Command J? The command J is just a duplication tool. Okay, I will select this here and make command J. Okay, 
that is another duplication you can duplicate that way or you can duplicate like I said before press the command drag it and release your mouse and command J J J J J okay in that way you can duplicate like this either okay this is the duplication how to duplicate in Affinity Designer and it's a little match I know it may be overwhelming uh, I will delete the unnecessary things it may be overwhelming but I like to explain that okay this is the footer and I will type footer here so okay so if you want to change the size you can change it here this is the font size this is the font height this is the font width contest or ultra light or regular pool etc but if you want to change the font size you can change here or with a drop down here or you can just click it and press shift and drag it you can change the size of the types like this way so that is another tips for a designer which is good and will save you more times I guess uh, for me yes but for you I don't know because there might be a case different okay so in this video I'm talk about the shapes the square shapes you can you just type it M the square another M cycle and um, another M the shape with the corner okay so what is this shape this shape is triangle right now but if you click this stereo here there will be more shape hot shape tear shapes and so on and you can click it here the shape is changed but this shortcut is not M and M is not included in the shortcut this is a little dynamite here the, the shortcut M is just only for these three things not this one but if you can choose it you have to use you have to use your mouse and click here and voila this is another tooth this is another shape and I think it's a good way okay so this is the business one for draw a prototype to draw to draw a prototype in a patented designer and in the next video I will talk about color and a little bit with color theory and I will tell you more about the, how to change the notes how to use pen tools and in the next videos uh, the reason I'm cutting this out into a next video is because I don't want to make the longer one videos and that might be overwhelming more for you if, if you are a beginner for this tools or any other graphic design tools if you have been familiar with any other graphic design tools like illustrator in previous uh, in previous experience this is just an easy PC and this is a really business concept there is no theories and no concept like that but if you are new to the graphic designer or prototypings or any other graphic design tools this is just for you and in the next video I will talk about uh, like I said before this hue wheel color and some kind uh, some other color theory and I will tell you about pen tools which is important in some case but not too much in prototyping especially in skeleton prototyping okay so please Give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you in the next week.